Welcome to our second episode of Locks and Lips. Now, if you're new to this, this is a series that will be incorporating several women from across the globe. They will be sharing their experience while they're wearing their favorite lip color. Hence the title, Locks and Lips. So if you're wanting locks, but you don't know which type of locks that you may want, or if you're someone who wants to know the good, the bad, the ugly, and the in-between, then I know this is going to be the series for you. So before these ladies introduce themselves, why don't you go ahead on and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on the tea because baby, they're spilling it. Okay, now that we've got all of that clear, let's go ahead and let the first participant introduce themselves. Hi everyone, so my name is Kenyatta. I'm from Dallas. I have been locked for almost a year and a half. Um, I started off with two strand twists and I mean, I just let my hair do its own thing and here I am now. <laughs> I went to a loctician to get my hair locked. Um, I did not do them myself because I wanted them to be done right. I wanted it to be the right size. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I went through the right process whenever I got them. always wanted to lock my hair, but I was really afraid because uh, I'm like, this is something permanent, like I'm stuck with this forever. So it, it was a big decision for me and it took for my boyfriend to lock his hair and they were super duper pretty. And I'm like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. And then, <laughs> then like his sister's like, just do it, just do it. And finally I scheduled an appointment and I went and it's literally the best decision that I've ever made in my life. I have. Um, I remember her telling me when she did them, but honestly, I do not remember. Being lock has definitely changed me. It's changed my mindset. It's changed just everything. It, it helped me to realize that I'm not my hair. So when you first get locks, it's hard. You have to go through the whole stage and you have to have a good support system. Because if you don't, people make you think, oh, you're ugly, you're going through the ugly stage, all of that. And it's not true because really I'm not my hair. I can have whatever hair that I want to have, but I'm still a beautiful person on the inside. And that's what really matters. Having locks definitely promoted self-love. It helped me to love myself more, to just to love me. And honestly, I love my hair more than I loved it before. It's just, it's an amazing journey. It really is an amazing journey. They hate my hair. So <laughs> I'm always like, I can take a picture and I'm like, yo, yeah, why did you post that picture? Like, look at your hair. And of course I get so much love from the lock community. And even if I'm just at the store, I get so much love from just people. Oh, I love you here. My family was like, I don't know why they're telling me that. I hate it. <laughs> even like at work. So I work in corporate America. I am a corporate accounting manager. So the typical, you know, we, I'm in meetings all day. And I noticed whenever I started locking my hair, so when I had my two strand twists, my boss would always comment, oh, I miss your curls. I miss when you wear curls. I miss your hair straight. But for me, I'm like, okay. Like, I love my hair like this and I'm not changing it. And now she's learning to embrace it, of course, at this, at this moment, it's been a year and a half. She has no other choice, but I know it's something that it does come up in conversation a lot. Like, oh, I miss it. It's literally my signature style. It's some up in the bun, some down. Like, I, that's what I always wear. Literally, my hair will be like that right now, but I got my hair retwisted a couple weeks ago, so I'm trying to like rock my little rope twist. So, as I mentioned, I am an accounting manager during the day. Um, I do have an online boutique, and I am a bedroom cleaning consultant. 
thank you, Kenyatta, for sharing your lot experience with us. We greatly appreciate it. And for those who are interested in following Kenyatta, her social media information and or businesses information will be left in the description box along with the other participants information. And now for our next locked queen. I am Tawana Smith, but you guys can call me Taj. Um, I am here to talk to talk to you about my sister lock. So um, I'm from Northern Virginia, the DMV area, uh, Alexandria, Virginia to be exact, born and raised. Um, as you can see, I have sister locks, so that's the type of locks I'm here to talk to you about. I love my sister locks. Um, they are a part of me. I've had them now for a little over two years. So I had my install January 10th, 11th, and 12th of 2019. So it took three days, eight hours each day. So a total of 24 hours. I did have my house installed by a sister lock consultant. Um, so I went to a trainee actually. So fortunately for me, it was, you know, I had a great deal for the amount, you know, my hair, as you can see, is pretty big. Um, when I started, I only started with seven inches, but I still had all the, the thickness and density of the hair um, to still, you know, still a lot. I love natural hair. I love, you know, showing the hair that God gave me. <laughs> so before I had my sister locks, I um, was a loose natural. I had my loose curls, love my loose curls. I didn't like to have to do my hair all the time. So I wanted something that took me less maintenance. So I actually went into traditional locks for um, about two years and I cut them off because they got too heavy. Um, so I cut them off and I said, I want to get sister locks. I was in love with sister locks even before that. And I should have just started with sister locks, but you know, hey, everything for a reason. So um, cut them off, let my hair grow out a little bit um, to four inches, went to my consultation. That's his history. Being locked has definitely changed me in a way. It's given me um, a boost, a confidence boost. Um, my, my, my locks just inspire me. I just love, I love seeing how my hair can grow and, and, and like I don't need a weave to have long, beautiful hair. I, I just love watching my hair just flourish. So it definitely has changed me. It's given me just a confidence in myself that I didn't have. Another fun fact that gave me a confidence was um, a lot, I've, I've gone through a weight loss journey been years um, to be I mean as you can see I'm, I'm um, you can see it in my face I know you can't really see my full body but I lost um, a lot I was 305 pounds um, and I am now down to 180 so um, I lost a significant amount of weight over the past couple of years and that's going up and down from two kids um, in between all of that so I am grateful. That has definitely boosted my confidence too. And you know the saying, when you look good, you feel good. So that's that's definitely been a great thing for me. <laughs> I love wearing my hair down to the side, just as you see, doing a braid out. Um, so right now I have my hair in a braid out. Um, my hair is naturally curly like this, by the way. I get a lot of questions about the my curl pattern on the end. Um, I do nothing to make it curly. My hair is just naturally curly that way. It's a little extra wavy right now because I did a braid out. Um, but this is my go-to. I do sometimes wear top bun, top ponytail, low ponytail, but typically my hair is like this. And I go for maintenance every four weeks um, to my loctician. She does not let me go over because the new growth was real. <laughs> so I go get my um, maintenance faithfully. professional I love working in human resources it is my favorite I just love it um, I also um, sing on the praise team at my church so I love to sing I, my bachelor's is actually in music with a concentration in voice and I have an MBA in HR management so two things I love I'm doing both and I love it and other than that I've been getting into this hair <laughs> I love um, sister loss I love the sister loss community um, everything Natural lease is period. Everybody's rocking their natural hair and I love it. So yeah, that's that's everything about me. I have, to, again, I have two kids, a two year old son, eight year old, almost eight year old daughter. And I love them, they're a big part of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm done rambling. As y'all can see my hair, this is how long it is. It's gorgeous. Um, 
if you're thinking about getting it get get your sister locks they're worth it <laughs> um so thank you guys for listening to me Thank you, Ms. Tawana, for sharing your experience with us. That was so inspirational to us all. And now we're down to our last locked queen of the Locks and Lips series. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. My name is Sandy, the Sassy Savvy Diva. I'm from North Carolina, and I currently reside here in Jacksonville, Florida. So let's get into it. We are here to talk about these red hot sister locks. Yes, honey. I, when I I'm loving my hair. Okay. The only regret I have is that I didn't do it sooner. Five more days will be a month. Um, it was a two-day process. It took a total of 24 hours. Shout out to She Nailed It Beauty. <laughs> so, um, my sister, cousin, girlfriend, <laughs> hey, see? she has sister locks. And, you know, she was telling me about, oh, how she doesn't have to do anything out here. She just get up and go, and she loves it. So, I forget. I, I honestly don't remember what really made me just say, bump it, I'm going to get my hair sister locked. But um, my husband, he um, was cleaning uh, my consultant's carpet, and he had came back and said, you know, um, you know, uh, such and such, you know, she does locks. And so I was like, really? And so I'd already been thinking about it. So I called her and asked her if she, you know, did sister locks. And sure enough, she was a sister lock consultant. So that was my blessing because she is sweet as pie. So yeah, so I called her. Um, we scheduled my consultation. I already knew before I left that um, I was getting my locks scheduled me and went ahead and paid, honey, because I was ready right then, okay? I fell in love with myself over again. You know, with being quarantined and being in the house and not being able to go anywhere, I pretty much wore my natural hair out at home. And I was like, you know what? I really, really, really do love my hair. I just, I just want to be able to, you know, no fuss. Just so that's why I did it. Okay, I'm sorry. That was a long uh, answer. <laughs> But it's the truth. <laughs> well, that's a good question. Uh, we didn't count, but I did try counting my locks um, my, at my last shampoo. And I think I have like maybe 360-ish, but um, I'll show them to you. And then let me just run my find us through it let's just see so but i know i see some salt and pepper coming up in their chair i'm like ugh. i don't know how i'm gonna survive a whole year without being able to color my hair lord jesus give me strength father god i have to say yes i feel really liberated y'all i feel free I, I thought i felt free when i got off the creamy crack but I feel just carefree. I don't have to do anything to my, I honestly don't do anything to my hair. I don't tie it up at night. I don't wear a slap cap. I have a, a satin pillowcase that I lay on. I don't do anything to it. I already have cowlicks here, thinned out. Um, my hair, um, has always been thin here and I thought it was maybe because you know come from wearing wigs and stuff but honestly um y'all I'm I'm blessed I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor so yes when my hair came back it came back really thin right here but it seems like it's trying to come in I wake up like this <laughs> Okay, 
part it on this side. <laughs> that one. Or I might wear it on this side. Well, March 2021, I will be a sister lock trainee. Yay! I am excited about that. Um, I, I do hair anyway. I did go to hair school. Um, but that was many, many, many moons ago. Um, I actually maintained my son's locks and about like I started like five of his friends locks off many years ago and they still have their locks they're all the way down to their behinds and I just cut my son's locks he wanted me to cut them they were so long he was like mom I need to cut them so I cut them to shoulder length but yeah that's my exciting story I will be a sister like trainee and I'm so excited about it I'm actually a systems tech operations for a company I'm, I'm not gonna say what the name of it is but yes I'm a systems analyst I'm a computer geek I drink one of these a day the whole thing this is my gallon by the time I go to bed it'll be empty okay so if you drink a gallon of water a day you will not need to spray any water oil or anything like that on your hair unless of course you have an uh, issue with itchy scalp or you have maybe um, a psoriasis or dandruff issues but um, I'm also vegan so I think my clean eating and drinking a gallon of water a day um, really it comes out through my skin my hair everything so basically that's what I do just twist my hair all the way down I just go up in here and just real lightly it's, I'm, it's not tight I'm not pulling I'm not tugging okay and I just twist like this here and I do them down all the way around and, that, and then in the morning I just take them out and then you just shake and go. I'm loving, loving, loving my lock. Jazzy Jen, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's been a blast. I've had fun. This is my actually my first video that I've done. <laughs> so I just want to say, if you have not subscribed to Miss Jazzy Jen's Highways Up page, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll know when she uploads new videos. Okay? And also, I just want to say, don't forget to thank God for your life, health, and strength. Because some people didn't wake up today. love and blessings to all of you love you love and light and we're out bye and that concludes the locks and lips episode number two but come back subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload the next series because we've got lots more to come. But before you go, I want you to leave with this one thing. Embrace not only your locks or your hair, but embrace all of you. Everything that makes you feel whole. And with that, my friends, stay locked and loaded with positivity. See you later, babes.